Hey everybody, it's Dean. This is Bring Back Rock. I had a couple people ask me my thoughts on Toby Keith. So I thought about it a little bit, and then yesterday at a work function, I heard two of his songs. I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and just give him my two cents real quick. Uh, I know we've also lost people in the rock community recently. The, the drummer from Helix just passed, and Steve Riley was pretty recent from Wasp and LA Guns. So on Toby Keith, I don't listen to country. My parents listened to it a lot when I was growing up, so I was exposed to it. I, um, songs that I tended to like were usually kind of funny, like uh, Jerry Reed, She Got the Gold Mine, I Got the Shaft, or Hard to Be Humble by Mac Davis. And Toby Keith kind of falls into that. A lot of his songs had humor in it. Um, so I can definitely relate, now being of a certain age, to songs like uh, Not As Good As I Once Was. Um, Red Solo Cup was just a fun, funny song, and had um, the fact that he wrote it to win a bet even, makes it even better story. Um, I start off every single birthday singing, I want to talk about me. It happened one year and now it's just become a thing for the last decade or so. That's how the day starts. Um, so, and then also if you were like me and you're around on September 11th and you're glued to your TV set, uh, watching it first in confusion and shock and then sadness and horror, followed by anger and rage, which led to resolve. Uh, he had a song called Courtesy the Red, White, and Blue, The Angry American, which summed up exactly how we were feeling as people and as a nation at that point, and also gave uh, props to all the men and women in the military who are serving, protecting our freedoms every day. Uh, so he was a patriot. He had a sense of humor. He just seemed like the kind of guy you would want to hang out with on a Saturday night. Um, so to all his friends, family, and fans, uh, from my teeny tiny little sliver of the rock world, our condolences. And to the man himself, cheers. Well done, sir. And we'll be back next week talking about rock and roll. All right, so thank you for just giving me a couple minutes of your time. Like I said, the fact that I don't listen to country and it crossed over and know more than just what I just talked about, about his music and he crossed, broke a lot of, uh, broke a lot of boundaries. So uh, he'll be missed in the entertainment world. All right, thanks for your time. We'll catch you later.